Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and assalamu alaikum greetings Alishan Mo here and welcome to the third vlog of DIY electric surfboard build. Let me tell you what are my plans and tasks today and then we will carry on with those. Alright, starting from the bottom part of the surfboard, I used my router to route the measured space and simply using a bit, I just took off all the foam very quickly. After that, it was just a matter of choosing which epoxy I should go, so I went with a thicker epoxy that I had because it was easy to spread and it forms a very quick and a strong bond between wood and the foam. I was plenty generous to pour rest of the epoxy in the uh, leftover grooves which were kind of hollow. On the top side I measured the uh, waterproof battery boxes that I bought and then accordingly I used my router and cut the grooves to install two of these wooden strips as a stingers and these two made the board plenty strong. I was planning to add two more on the bottom side but it was so strong that I thought just two are enough. Once again I generously poured epoxy, the thicker one which makes a very strong bond between wood and the foam. Well the next day I came down and everything was nice and tight and I went straight for shredding the board from the sides because it was kind of very boxy and I didn't want that shape. I wanted to give it a good shape. So shredding the board uh, foam with my 3D printed foam shredder and then I just sanded it according to my shape, desired shape. Now it looks really very nice. For these uh, spaces that I couldn't get to sand properly, I went with my favorite uh, wood putty and filled all, made it nice and smooth to get it ready for fiberglassing. So today I added the wood pieces for mounting the electric motor on it. Later I'll take measurements so I can 3D print, I can design and 3D print a very very strong mount for it. Otherwise I'll just go design uh, build with wood. Also did some wood putty for uh, the new sanding and new shaping that I did. I realized it was very flat and squarish so as you can see I uh, smoothed out and made a smooth curve on both of the sides. So it looks much more curvy and smooth now. Apart from that of course also adjusted uh, hold on, the wood putty is still a little wet. Apart from that, as you can see, down here it's really nice and tough and board does not flex anymore. I went with this uh, thicker pelt, fiberglass pelt, because it actually uh, gets soft very easily and it's very easy to form corners out of it. Then I went ahead again generously poured thicker epoxy down on the bottom part and spread it all over. Gave it a little time and then put the fiberglass pelt on top of it and once again went more generous with more epoxy on it and put the corners all nicely down and shaped it on top of the board. Why two colors? Well it's just my experiment with two different epoxies which I will share with you for sure. Alrighty. I think my bottom part of the surfboard is done with fiberglassing and I have learned a lot of new things. Trust me on this one. So let me show it to you and why there are two different colors. It's because again I love experimenting and the results obviously I'm going to share with you all in these vlogs series. So let's take a look at it and see what I have done and what I have learned. Now the problem I'm facing at the moment is you see weather has turned cold. When it was warm my epoxies whatever they were they were nice like thinner but now they become thicker and I'm afraid to heat them up with a hair dryer because it, it dries quickly, reduces you know curing time, makes it faster. So anyway, 
the problem I had with the epoxy side. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about why two different colors. This side is an AB epoxy one by one ratio. This side is a waterproof, water resistance uh, wood glue. As I said, I was experimenting in the beginning of this video and I thought it's good to just go straight ahead with this. So this part of epoxy, I had trouble uh, bending the corners and sticking them. It's because I found I was being cheap. I was being miser. I wasn't using enough epoxy. I was using very little epoxy and having to have this fiberglass pelt, which actually separates from its uh, clothes form, it was giving me trouble. So what I did was I went generous. As soon as I went generous, I found I can bend the corners really nice and easy. So I poured a lot of epoxy generously and able to finish that part nice. Now at this part, I found with the wood glue because it's thinner already in this nature, it was very, very easy for me to bend the fiberglass clothes at, uh, on the corners and it's actually drying pretty fast. So I'll be able to see what is the result of this epoxy and wood glue with fiberglass clothes and we'll keep you posted about it. I will call it uh, a day because now I cannot do anything. I have to wait for this thing to dry and that means 48 hours. And I do not like to sit idle. Trust me, I really do not like to sit idle. So I'm thinking multitasking and I'm going to start plywood stitch and glue mini electric board project. My measurements as you watched in my previous video are pretty accurate and giving me a very nice beautiful boat shape and I think it's better not to sit idle but start this project right away so I can do multitasking at the same time while this is drying you know plywood is waiting back there and I will not waste time but keep building stuff keep you all entertained watching these DIY builds share all the results of my experiments with you so you can all benefit from those thank you very much for watching this video give it a big like do subscribe to my channel and turn on all the notifications if man youtube sucks if you, if notifications are not coming your way just remember to come back and watch my channel every day well let's get to the boat project work come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.